Today I'll be going back and taking a look at Lizzie, going over her abilities, best card setups for Horde and Escape, how you should buy your perks. And we're going to start off with the ultimate ability, which is Summon the Silverback. She summons and pilots a silverback on the battlefield. It actually is worth noting that you can summon the silverback and somebody else can get in the silverback and they will have whatever weapons you have equipped. Even if she gets in immediately in the silverback, sometimes she'll spawn in it instead of placing it. And in that case, you'll just hit um, whatever button you use to exit the silverback. And you can exit the silverback and somebody else can get in it. Her passive ability, damage you take slowly recharges your ultimate. It's no longer marked targets. So she does get her silverback less, but that's what it is. Damage you take slowly recharges your ultimate. To get into the perks, I'm going to start, up with be start off with best card setups for Horde and Escape. Perks. You should buy and then I'll get into the cards what they all mean for the new players to start off for horde I have two different setups one for if you're using the barrier glitch that currently exists and one if you're not so if you are using the barrier glitch obviously you're going to need the hammer for the new one the stun all the old ones still work we're going to also be running cold finish so we deal damage when their health gets low and executes them. Now, this setup right here is for if you're just going to be holding onto the drop shot and spamming drop shots and not really getting into your silverback. So if you're not using your silverback at using it at all and you're not giving it to other people, then you would be running healing explosives. So you are less likely to go down from all the drop shots you'll be firing. Aggressive armor to give you stim every time you get to full health and you'll be getting the stim off the barriers as well So you really shouldn't need this except when you do take damage But then you can get right back to full health and generate your stim So that is why this combo is here for if you're not using your silverback and we have initiator So if you do happen to go down and the time that you spend swapping drop shots on a weapons locker you are actually still taunting all the enemies that take damage on the barriers, assuming they are at full health. So while people are relying on those enemies to be stunned, for the moments that you don't have your drop shot in your hand, you're still taunting some of the enemies and drawing the attention towards you. Second setup, obviously, is with the silverback weapons, and we will be dropping initiator and healing explosives for two weapons of your choosing personally i think silverback salvo and bleeding mulcher is what i generally run but your three best combos are the si silverback salvo bleeding mulcher silverback salvo healing tri shot and bleeding mulcher and healing tri shot for escape you would be running almost in every single map cold finish and aggressive armor and then two more of the cards would be one of the three combos for the weapons. And then your fifth card, you have the hammer. If you're not running a Keegan or a JD, and it's just like that happens to be the one drop shot on the board. You can also run uh, Initiator. Another uh, one is Deep Pockets. If that seems like you're going to need some extra pistol ammo in the beginning. Another good one as a potential fifth is the rear armor. So for going in and buying the perks, I do recommend doing the capacity and damage about 50-50. You can go slightly more. If I was going to go on anything, I would go higher on the capacity so I could spam more drop shots, especially if doing the glitch. The enemies are going to be stunned, so... It really depends on your damage. If you've got to ready your card up to like 3 plus, your damage is already fairly good. So getting that capacity up early allows you to get more shots off and you can spam more shots. If you do have low damage, you might want to wait for them to all group up and fire less shots. But what you're really looking for is to split your uh, the perks that you buy between damage 
and capacity in the beginning. After you're done with those to both 10, then you can go up on the health. And if you are running the silver back, if you want on the cooldown, but I mean the health with you're getting so many, you're probably gonna be doing the barriers anyway. So you're gonna have stim. You got healing explosives from just spamming the drop shot. All the enemies are stunned, so the health is just like a whatever. Really, what's important is the ammo capacity and the damage. And now I'll be going into the cards for all our new players. To start off with, we have the hammer, which deals extra damage and stuns enemies with the drop shot. Nice card, especially since she starts with the drop shot. Next up, we have Cold Finish, another excellent card. Damaging an enemy with less than 25% health also applies freezing damage, turning them into eventually a silent, frozen, whatever, and then with enough damage, makes them burst into icicles. Next up, we have Healing Explosive. As I was saying, your explosive damage will heal Lizzie for part of the damage dealt. Aggressive armor dealing damage grants stim. It's worth noting you will need to have full health for you to get stim. So if you're already damaged and you're like regenning health in the process of regenning health and you deal damage, you're not gonna go back up to full health and get stim. You will actually need to be at full health, deal damage without taking damage, and then you will get stim. Great for high rate of fire weapons. If you're not, but right now, obviously, you just get a little stim, but you get a ton of stim if you're doing that anyway. So you're either using high rate of fire or you're using the barriers, one of the two. Initiator, damaging a full health enemy, taunts it, which will draw the attention to you. Sometimes it's a little inconsistent of a card, uh, the aggro, the taunts, but it, it does seem uh, to be fairly good, the taunt. Silverback Salvo, you get the Salvo Rockets on your Silverback, and for every hit, you get to use your, uh, the Silverback for a little bit longer. Bleeding Mulcher, now your mulch, you have Eclipse uh, Mulcher on your Silverback. That will deal Mulcher damage and Bleeding damage. Standard Score Boost card for your Re-Up. Healing Tri Shot deals damage and also heals the silverback for part of the damage dealt. Deep Pockets increases your pistol capacity. This just to the end, when there's two or less teammates on the board, whether it be escape or horde, your ultimate will recharge faster. Enforcer deals extra damage for the enforcer. Exploding Buzzkill gives you a buzzkill that does splash damage on kills. Explosive Munitions heals the Silverback when it... Uh, oh, actually, this one is... Uh, sorry, I think another one. Explosive Munitions is the one when you go into defense mode and you will deal splash damage off your kills. To enter defense mode, you're pretty much hitting your ability after you get in the Silverback. Killing Munitions, this is the one I was thinking. Uh, when you take Explosive Damage, you actually get healed versus take damage, especially if you're at five or six, which you heal for, well, you heal for part of the damage. You're not going to heal fully. All right. Uh, quick Ice Cannon, which is uh, another weapon for the Silverback, and that is a Cryo Cannon. Rear Armor, this gives you damage resistance from the behind. Um, it might also well be from the side uh, I've really not tested out um, sitting there and trying to get hit only from the side, but most of these uh, behind cards do work from behind and the side. And another standard score boost card. And uh, that is Lizzie post season 4. I hope that helps.